Hey guys, you asked for a brow tutorial, so I'm going to give it to you. Starting off with Benefits Precisely My Brow number four. I'm using my spoolie and now we're going in with the pencil. Get as close to your hairline as possible because you want to make sure that your brow is nice and tight. So I always try to go in to the closest possible part of my brow. Remember that your brows are not twins, they are sisters, so they're not going to come out exactly alike all the time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that the tail of my brow is the darkest. You wanna do that just to make sure that it's sharp. Now I'm going in with my MAC NW40 concealer and a angled brush. You can use any brush that you want. And I'm just going right again to the closest part of my hairline, well the brow line I mean. And what we're doing is highlighting. We're highlighting the brow and we're shaping it with the concealer. You don't have to use the MAC concealer. You can use whatever concealer you choose. I just use MAC because I'm a MAC girl. I mean, I'm 44. Y'all know I've been using MAC since the 90s. But you see how close I'm getting to my brow line? We want as close as possible to create that highlight and the shape. And now I'm just going in with my concealer right in the middle of the brow. You don't have to do this. I just do this. It's my own personal preference. And you see how they're shaped? Bam. Now I'm going to go on with just an any old brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend out that concealer. And we're blending. And you guys see how the concealer is blending nicely. And remember, after you do this, you can set this with powder if you want to, to make sure that that concealer doesn't shift. But I'm just kind of like airbrushing it out. Now I'm going in with my MAC 252 brush. And this is to shape the brows tighter. Once again, you don't have to use this brush per se. But I've been doing it for years, so I'm just used to it. But yes, we are contouring the shape of the brow with the brush. Making sure that the brow is nice and sharp. And then I'm also going in the middle with that concealer and that brush just to blend it out. And then we're fading the beginning of the brow with the brush. It looks like I'm doing it really hard, but I'm not. I'm doing it very lightly because you want the beginning of the brow to be faded. Now I'm going in with Max Brow Set and Clear. And this is just to set the brow. Everyone knows when you wear makeup, you're not supposed to touch your brows, but you just want that brow set on there just to go ahead and shape the, not shape the brows, but shape the hair of your brow. And there we have it, you guys, a beautiful sculpted brow. I usually don't do these. They're really hard to do on camera. But since I've been getting a lot of like requests for it, I did it for you guys. Have a great Monday. Bye.